Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading for the 13th of February. This is a weekly reading, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Maybe check out your other sun, moon and rising signs for a fuller picture. Um, we have present position, present expectation, unexpected, short-term future, which is next week, long-term future, next one, two, three weeks. If you want to take that card as your energy for a bit further into the year, for, or as long as you want, then feel free to do that. I do think you should have one, two, three, ten cards that, that kind of really resonate with you and you, you want to kind of take that energy and put it out into the world. Um, and if you do, good things will happen. You know, it's as simple as that, really. Um, energy on the bottom. We have the fantastic Page of Pentacles, a card of focus, intent, determination. She's naked. She's nothing to hide. She's authentic. She's truthful. She's pulling herself up one-handed to the one thing that she really, really wants. And she's got this lovely calm expression on her face she just knows she's going to do it it's going to be no surprise this is what i want i'm just going to go out and get it great great energy for the week that sets you up beautifully for the rest of the week so your present position is the six of pentacles which is a card of imbalance a card of um it's a bit of a warning card really there's actually six pentacles on this card three of them are sort of so dirty and grey that they're not being used so these three are being lauded and aren't we amazing and these three down here are just being ignored so this could be not giving your all in a relationship or not giving your all at the workplace and and people are going oh wow what an amazing job and you're like i'm just kicking over i'm just going at half speed here eventually that gets found out you know so it is a card of imbalance and you just need to ask yourself why am i doing this and then we've got quick success coming in with the Eight of Pentacles, real card of movement and, and um, uh, communication, lots of things happening, obviously, in this electronic age. Could be emails. Um, I, I think the days of letter writing are few and far between. But definitely, you know, news coming in, news coming in fast. So just be aware of that so you don't miss anything. In the unexpected position... Um, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is a card of, of I've been hurt before. I'm going to be hurt again, but I'm still going to go ahead and go with it. You know, again, could be a work situation, could be a personal situation, sort of thing where, you know, she's gone out with, I don't know, a fireman after a fireman after a fireman after and eventually just gone, do you know what? This isn't working out. You know, those relationships for whatever reason. She is aware she's put the sword through her hand to, to remind herself of what she's been through. She's got a crown of swords that hurt her as much as they, you know, look like they could hurt someone else. She's got butterflies for transformation down here. So she's willing to, you know, give it a go and try something new, something different. But it's, it's a real card of um, uh, sort of cold stoicism. So, Taurus, you, you've got to kind of uh, she's I tried, let me see if I can find the card in here because it'll explain it a bit better. But she's been through the ringer, but she's prepared to go through the ringer again. And I say she, it could be, you know, we're, we're, we're gender neutral in Taro. Um, but I, I think it's better. There you go, there she is. So you look at this one, you know, she's above, look at this storm, there's a storm going on, she's kind of resigned to it, she's she's holding her hand out to the future going, come on then, what next? What next have you got for me? And she's got a sword ready, but she is above the storm clouds, she's looking ahead to the future, she has these butterflies on her throne and on her crown, you know, she's, she's ready for the, the transformation, she's prepared to do something new. And the reason I did that very long-winded thing about the Queen is we then go to the Page of Swords, which is another one of those cards like the Page of Pentacles that I really like in this deck. This Page of Swords is uh, impatient. He's, he's had enough of waiting for someone to, um, to do something for him. He's cutting through the red tape. He's cutting through these brambles that are holding him back, which is very literal and very obvious. You kind of go, okay, brambles hold me back, so I'll chop them away. But when he's chopped them away, he's revealed all these kind of fruits and berries. So he's revealed the success. So not only has he cut away the red tape, but it's been a real victory for him in doing so. Really great to see that. And that leads to this triumphant victory, the, the Six of Wands. So you've got this sort of, you've got an imbalance, and then you've got some movement. And then what you do is unexpectedly go, do you know what? I've been through the ringer. I'm going to go through the ringer again. I know what it is that I want in life, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm not going to take any red tape anymore. I'm just going to cut through the nonsense. I'm going to 
you know, if you've got some mates who are, I don't know, a bit of a pain in the bum or they, they have outdated viewpoints or they're politically out there, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You just go, do you know what? I've had enough of this. If you're going to keep talking about that, we're not going to hang out together. And they go, oh, right. And then they either stop talking about it or you go off and get a new bunch of friends. You know, really simply, it's it's, it's a real lightning strike. It's like, enough of this now. You know, it's that thing where someone swipes loads of stuff off a table or a mantelpiece. I've always wanted to do that. You know, you just swipe it all off. It all smashes to the floor. Everyone stops and goes, what the hell? And you're like, yeah, I just wanted to do that. Just clearing the decks. And he results in this victory. You know, the lion has eaten the hunter. There's a dagger on the ground. There's an end to hostilities. Flags are flying in the background. People are really pleased about this. So whether that hunter was a thoroughly unpleasant person or not, we don't know. But you have caused this victory. And everyone is... It it does talk about it's a fairly fast victory. You know, it, take the victory and move on because next week you're going to be asked to do it all over again. But yeah, a real sense of clearing the way this week, Taurus. Love that. King of Wands, inspiring, confident, leading by example, walking into a room and just owning it, but not in a big-headed way, yeah? Just be careful when these messages come in that you don't miss the important one. Um, the devil is about um, addiction and impermanent pleasures. You know, if you're getting messages from the bank going, we need you to come in and talk about your overdraft, we need you to come in, we need, you know, you need to go in and sort that out. The devil is very good at, 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 you know, they don't come into your room at two in the morning and steal you away. They just whisper, ignore those letters, ignore those letters. Have another beer, you know, go out and buy yourself a stereo system for $2,000. You know, that's that's what the devil does. And you're like, no, you don't want that imbalance in your life. So you have to go, no, I'm not prepared to do that. Yeah. So just be careful you don't miss anything important and you address all the important emails that are coming through. Uh, page of Wands, Page of Swords. Page of Wands is the um, Indiana Jones of, of uh, in, in my own head, it's kind of the Indiana Jones energy. In this deck, she's actually making a portal beneath her feet and jumping into the unknown. So it's, it is that card of, of um, you know, just jumping into the new adventure. The pages can be a little bit unprepared. But I would rather take unprepared over sort of sat there waiting until you were fully prepared, you know, and slowing it down, which is what's happening here. There's a, a card here. Where you've got this lovely momentum of the Page of Swords, which is chopping it down and getting on with it. And then you drop straight in with the Four of Pentacles. And the way I like to do the Four of Pentacles is actually line it up to another card like that. So this is what you're doing as the Page of Wands. You're going off and you're having this exciting adventure. Let's see if it matches up. Not quite, but we're there. And then you're having this exciting adventure. And then you just, you know, this is the hoarding card. This is about the status quo. It's about staying where you are. And what I would say to people is, there's nothing wrong with being down here. You know, you've got some money. You've got a cloak on, so you're protected from the rain. You're not in any danger. But life is passing you by, you know. All these adventures are going on above your head. So what you need to do is consider if that's what you want to do. If you want to stay in the status quo, that's fine. This page of swords is telling me you want to cut through the red tape. Yeah, get it all resolved, move on to the next bit. And then finally, on this triumph of victory, you've also got seven of pentacles, which is a card of just looking at how far you've come and how much you've done. She is taking a pentacle off that tree. You know, this is money, power, wealth, happiness, whatever that tree is, you know. But it's it's an ongoing resource. It never ends. She knows that she can take one off there and there'll be two more on the tree in the morning. It's about being able to, you know, if you were, if you were um, fostering children, people go, how do you manage to, you know, love all these children? And you go, you just do. There, there is just never ending love that I'm able to give to these children because they need it and I can just do it. You know, there's no imbalance here. You know, I'm confident, I'm strong, I'm leading by example. And then I've got this this tree of, of happiness and wealth that I can just draw from endlessly. So that's a really nice way to end the week. Really interesting about the, the Four of Pentacles there, right? Okay, I've got the Ace of Swords down at the bottom. I think that's going to kill the Four of Pentacles off. These two cards are, are sort of fighting with each other. The page is this impetuous moving on to the next thing and the four of pentacles is i'm just going to stay where i am and i don't think you want to stay where you are i think you want to use that impetuous thing so 
I would take, of these four cards here, I would take those three and use those. And if in doubt, I'll think about the Ace of Swords. It's a new start. It is a cathartic start. It's a, it's a, a start using your head, not your heart. So it can be a bit, no, I need to do this. I need to maybe, you know, maybe I, I have to use these three pentacles to get this venture going. And I didn't want to. I only wanted to use one. Well, that's tough. You know, you need to cut through and just, just trust the universe. You have more resources than you think you've got. Yeah, you're hanging on to the four you can see rather than the 20 that you can't see. So I think you need to push the envelope this week, really cut through the red tape and just take a chance. All right, have a great week. I'll see you next week from all the same.